Good morning, YouTube. So, I haven't done a video yet on this truck uh, as far as the drop goes, but it's on a 3.5 IHC kit. The back sense probably a quarter to a half inch higher than the front. Um, wish I did a video with the US mags on, but I put them on literally yesterday. I, I absolutely hate them. I don't know. They just, something looks janky about them. I mean, the wheel gap. Um, I think I need to, if I'm going to do this, I need to stick with either sixes or stocks with a fat tire or just lower it more. That way these US mags would look better. Um, leaning towards lowering it more, but I don't want to have not enough clearance between the uh, <clears throat> axle and the frame. I mean, right now I've got a good little bit. If I had to guess, I'd say I probably got about six inches of, of room, so I should, in theory, be good to drop it another inch in the rear. Um, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, anyways, I can drop another inch in the rear, um, probably with some drop shackles or something. And then uh, in the front, it has these little spacers, so I can always take some out. <laughs> Um, and lower that a little bit more because um, initially when I picked the truck up the front was damn near on the tire and the back was like that I was like no we need to put some little spaces in there and fix that um, anyways 3.5 kit no notch it rides really good um, does have a lot of popping though um, like a lot uh, Truck's only got 2,000 miles on it, so I'm kind of not really a fan of that portion of this kit, but I've ran IHC on a few trucks. I've never had any issues as far as components braking. Um, did lose a little bit of a turning radius with it, um, but that's with all lower trucks. You are going to lose some. Um, other than that, any questions below, just feel free. See ya.